Welcome everybody, this is your boy Geronimo Tuttle and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to these supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Samai aka The Real Late G, Weez G in Z Gaming, Foxy Clat V5, Crazy Boss V31, and Moldy Superman YT. These people are our channel members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So, with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install your custom PEDS girlfriend mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So make sure you guys do download all of the requirements that's inside my description below. I'll be installing this mod inside a clean GTA V folder. So I highly recommend you installing it on a clean GTA V folder. And there is some downhill about this mod. So make sure you guys do listen very carefully and make sure you do not skip the video because you may miss the most important part of the video, okay? So make sure you guys do download all the requirements and we can get started. All you gotta do is download the mod. I will leave this mod inside my description below. So make sure you download the mod. We are not using the latest version of native UI and even scuttlev.net all you gotta do is download the mod i'll leave this inside my description below so make sure that you have native ui version 1.8 i have already downloaded this version so i don't need to download it after that i highly recommend you downloading scuttlev.net version 2.10.6 now this is a downgraded version i will leave this inside my description below so make sure you guys do download the zip file over here and now we can get started now since i am downloading this and installing it inside a clean dtav folder we're going to get started so all you guys got to do is open up your open iv go to grand theft audio v windows now once this is complete and open, all you got to do is go to your tools, then I go to your ASI manager, install your ASI loader, install openiv.asi, and then select yes, then install the open camera, then close, and then now close your open IV. Now go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now. All you gotta do, okay, next is open up your Squidhook V extract folder. Make sure that your Squidhook V is the latest version. Go into your bin folder, go to dinput8.dll and Squidhookv.dll. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will pop up. All you gotta do is replace your files. Now open up your scuttlev.net version 2.10.6. Now there will be three files in there. All you gotta do is select the three files that's in there, except for the text files and drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, right click and then now uh, Go to your new and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you spell scripts correctly and make sure it is all lowercase. Press enter once and press enter again. Now open up your native UI version 1.8 extract folder. And then all you gotta do next is go and click on your DLL file and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now open up your custom paired extract folder 
also known as your girlfriend mod folder and now drag all of the files that's inside the extract folder and then you'll drag it into your scripts folder now that's all you guys got to do so the next thing what we are going to do is go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and we are back as Franklin so as you guys can see that we are in the game and my game did not crash but we are going to test the mod to see if the mod does appear or to see if the mod menu does appear so to open up the mod menu all you got to do is go to your keyboard and then now press on the O key okay and now here it goes and now see it does work guys and the girlfriend mod menu is there okay so so let's see if it does work we are going to do a little test okay so go to your player menu and now you can go inside the dressing room and now you can dress yourself if you want to all these a few settings there for you uh, but we're not going to go through there go to your girlfriend menu now all you got to do is you can either preload you can load one of these if you want to or you can recreate your girlfriend so all you got to do okay is just go somewhere where you can stand okay now click on recreate now your game will freeze for a few seconds so all you got to do is press enter on your keyboard now your game will freeze for only a few seconds and now your girlfriend will appear in front of you now you can you can keep this girlfriend if you want to or you can create the girlfriend so all you got to do is go back to your keyboard and now press the o key and now go back to your girlfriend menu and now go back to uh, dressing room and now you can dress her and now it will direct you to the dressing room and now you can change the components if you want to um, you can have your girlfriend to have a hat if you want to um, torso one uh, you can change her body if you want to torso two but it's totally up to you guys. You guys can dress her or whatever you like. Um, yeah. And you can go torso three. Um, I'm gonna leave it like that. And legs for the trousers. Um, overalls or whatever you guys want, okay. You can pick the girlfriend that you like. I'm gonna leave it as that, of course. And feet for the legs, for the shoes. Um, yeah, like that, and accessories, which is the, you know, accessories, earrings, and blah, 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 um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna get out of here, okay, to get out of here, okay, all you gotta do is go to your keyboard and uh, click on backspace, backspace, and now there you go, and now you got your girlfriend there following you. Uh, as you can see she is following me and now there she is um, you can bring up a gun and now she'll bring a gun so yeah and now she will always come next to you uh, in battle okay now go back to your menu again go to girlfriend menu and go to settings and make sure you just make her god mode so she doesn't die uh, you can make her to drive you around if you want to uh, but yeah that is it for the girlfriend mod menu so it does work guys as you can see I am in the game right now and the date today is uh, yeah Wednesday of April of the 7th 2021 as you can see it is 2021 right now and it does work right now so I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. So that is it for now guys, but before I do go, like always make sure you download and install the downgraded version of nativeui.drl version 1.8 and even scotthookv.net 
version 2.10.6 and make sure that you do install it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and install the native UI version 1.8 inside your scripts folder. Now I do have all other info inside my description below so go and check it out but like always I hope you guys do enjoy this video if you did then smash the like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials and I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace and I'm out.